Prince Christian of Denmark, the eldest son of King Frederick and Queen Mary, has crossed an important milestone in his life, taking another step toward adult responsibility. Young royals get older and it's time to step into new roles, such as getting a driver's license. That's exactly what Prince Christian of Denmark did when he turned 18 last October. Having passed the theoretical and practical exams, he now drives his own car. Frederick and Mary's eldest son was photographed outside Emilienborg Palace, where he lives with his parents and three younger siblings, Isabella and twins Vincent and Josephine. During the celebration of the 80th birthday of Princess Benedicta, sister of Margaret II, a formal dinner was held in one of the four palaces that make up Emilienborg. It was attended by many guests and members of the media gathered outside to take pictures. Their surprise was unparalleled when they saw Crown Prince, Christian, driving his own BMW nearby. According to some Danish media reports, the car was given to him by his parents on the occasion of his coming of age, although the royal palace has never confirmed this. It was an X1 model in a sporty variant from the German manufacturer. Silver-gray color, with automatic transmission, all-wheel drive, 300 horsepower and fuel consumption from 7.7 .7 to 7.9 liters per 100 kilometers. The price of this model, the BMW X1 M35i, starts from 70,000 euros and increases depending on additional options and trim, details of which, in the case of Christian and given the photos, we cannot know. But not only did the prince receive gifts from his parents, his grandmother also managed to surprise him. The Frederick of Denmark Palace reported that the eldest son of King Frederick and Queen Mary took a private tour of the National History Museum at Frederick of Denmark Castle with his father and grandmother, Queen Margrethe, who abdicated in January. During the tour, Christian unveiled his coat of arms, which was added to the wall of the Royal Danish Knighthood's chapel in the palace church. The elephant presented to the young royal prince had previously belonged to his grandfather, Prince Henrik. Before hanging it in the chapel, the queen's monogram was added to Christian's shield, as well as his personal coat of arms. A member of the royal family can now wear the so-called rosette of the Order of the Elephant on the lapel of his jacket. On special occasions, members of the Danish royal family wear their elephants on the ends of their ribbons, including at Christian's 18th birthday celebrations at Christiansborg Palace. The Danish royal house shared photos of the shield created by royal coat of arms artist Ronnie Skov Anderson. He described the extensive process of creating the knight's shield for the two Danish royal orders, the Order of the Elephant and the Order of Dannebrog. The shields are first drawn in pencil, then the sketch is transferred with chalk to a metal plate and covered with red, blue, green, black and silver paint and gilding. Christian publicly wore his insignia of the Order of the Elephant at a formal dinner held in honor of his milestone birthday last October. The Crown Prince's younger siblings, Princess Isabella, 17, and 13-year-old twins, Prince Vincent and Princess Josephine, became Knights of the Order of the Elephant after their father, Frederick, ascended to the throne on Jan, 14. Under the laws, the sons and now daughters of the sovereign are born members of the orders, but they will likely not be awarded the insignia until they reach the age of 18. Christian is first in line to the throne, meaning he is the rightful heir. This means he has more responsibilities, although his parents want him to continue his education at the Orgard High School, founded in the municipality of Gentoft in the 19th century. Christian had to leave the three-year boarding school Herlufsholm because of a tragedy there. Since August 2022, he has been studying at Oregard, which boasts of being the first co-educational school in the country. Just a few weeks ago, Christian hit the headlines when he was photographed dancing with a blonde girl at a nightclub. The prince was attending a party organized by two many left hands, a pair of Danish DJs. Eyes. The party was held at the Copenhagen Forum, a large indoor stadium that holds up to 10,000 people. And there he let his feelings out, leaving us with photos reminiscent of the partying days of his father, Frederick Dott, just after reaching adulthood, 
Prince Christian received a number of significant gifts that marked this important moment in his life. Among these gifts is his own BMW X1 M35 I car, which is believed to have been given to him by his parents. He has successfully passed his driver's license exams and can now travel the roads of Denmark on his own. But the gifts are not limited to just the car. Prince Christian was given a private tour of the National History Museum at Frederick Castle in Denmark, where he, along with his father and grandmother, Queen Margrethe, viewed historical artifacts and learned more about his royal ancestors. During this tour, he was presented with his own coat of arms, which was added to a wall in the palace church. This coat of arms, adorned with an elephant given to him by his grandmother, was a sign of membership in the Order of the Elephant, the highest order of chivalry in Denmark. Prince Christian, being first in line to the throne, carries great responsibilities, but his parents also strive to provide him with a proper education and a youthful life. He continues to study at Oregard High School and, like many young people, enjoys his teenage years by attending various events and parties. All of this indicates that Prince Christian is preparing for his future responsibilities with respect for tradition and combining it with modern youth life. His enthusiasm and dedication to his country promise a bright future for the Danish kingdom.